In this video, we're going to get started with using TFT displays. They're a great addition to any project where you need a visual interface. We'll go over the connections that are needed to control them from an ESP8266 development board. We'll use the Arduino IDE and a library to run some example code. All right, let's do this. For this video, I'm going to use a 1.44 inch 128 by 128 pixel resolution TFT display. To control it, I'll use a NodeMCU development board for the ESP8266. For the connections, I'll use some male to female Dupont wires. Actually, quite a few of them. To make the connections a little bit easier, I'll mount it on a solderless breadboard. As usual, you can find all these products in my little Amazon shop. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. For the display to work properly with the library that we're going to be using, make sure that you use the same connections to the pins on the ESP8266 as I'm showing on this video. Once the connections are made, we can fire up the Arduino IDE. Using the Tools menu, we can select the Manage Libraries option and in the Library Manager, we can search for TFT underscore ESP. Once we've done that, we can look at the examples that are included with the library. Look for the TFT ESPI option towards the bottom and in this video, I'll just select the generic Uncanny Eyes example for the ESP8266. Because we made the corresponding connections, the code is ready to run out of the box. We can go ahead and connect the board to the USB port of our computer. Use the tools menu to select the correct board type and the correct USB port corresponding to that board. Once we've done that, we can upload the code. And if everything goes according to plan, we can see the really cool example that Botmer, the developer of this library, has adapted from Philburg S so that we can use it with the ESP8266. So there you have it. Really quickly, we've gone over the process on how to get started with a TFT display using an ESP8266. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two. That really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.